Hello, welcome back to another Theory of Monarch Legacy Episode 7. Why a major character death is revealed before going back to 1952. Wyatt Russell star of Monarch, Legacy of Monsters explains why a significant character death was disclosed in the program before it cut back to 1952. In Monarch Legacy of Monsters, Lee Shaw is shown speaking while wearing a uniform and screaming Godzilla. Spoilers for Episode 6 of Monarch, Legacy of Monsters are ahead. Overview According to Wyatt Russell, revealing Keiko's passing in the first episode of Monarch, Legacy of Monsters establishes a thematic thread and provides context for the events of the 2015 plot. Subtext and depth are added to Keiko's character development in the following episodes as they examine her relationship with the team. When Keiko and Lee's pasts are fully disclosed, rewatching the series will present a different angle. There is still more for the show to cover in its previous narrative. Wyatt Russell star of Monarch, Legacy of Monsters, has explained why a significant character death was depicted in the previous plot of Episode 1 before going back to 1952. In the 1959 past plotline that debuted in the show's premiere, a young Lee Shaw is shown working with Keiko and Bill Randa. While the year's long build-up to Keiko's death is seen in flashbacks in later episodes, the episode ends with Keiko falling to her death. Russell explained to The Hollywood Reporter why the announcement of Keiko's impending death came first in the MonsterVerse DLC for Monarch, Legacy of Monsters. The actor gave an explanation of how the show would thematically revisit that particular time and relate it to the events of the 2015 plot. See what Russell had to say about this below. It's a really valid question. Yes, you run the danger of confusing people, so yes, we did. There's no denying it. However, in order to inform the 2015 storyline, you had to begin at the conclusion of the 1950s storyline and work your way up to the events that took place at that precise period. The series question and goal are left unanswered at the conclusion of Episode 1. The past of Bill, Kiko, and Lee is essential to all of the themes set in 1959, but I don't want to reveal too much because that is essentially what the series is about. In order for us to go back and discover the details of the past, it was necessary for them to have moved past it. That therefore establishes the true nature of the future, and that proved to be difficult. That was a challenge for Matt and Chris, as it was an extremely challenging task to attempt to engineer. Given that at times it seemed like a moving train, they did a quite excellent job creating that illusion. The way Monarch is rebuilding following Keiko's demise. Bill Randa in the Monarch Legacy of Monsters with Keiko. Even though Keiko passed away in the first episode, the subsequent episodes of the show helped to shape her character and showed viewers how she became more bonded with the team. Major character revelations in Monarch, Legacy of Monsters Episode 6 included Lee and Keiko's love interest in one another. It's unclear how she ended up with Bill instead and how it will affect the re-examination of her demise. Not only does the most recent episode set up the events leading up to her death, but it also gives the team's objective a deeper level of meaning. This is particularly poignant in light of how publicly loving Bill and Keiko were by 1959, even in light of the latter's previous relationship with Russell's persona. It appears that subsequent episodes will examine why this is the case and how the couple made up after Monarch was taken over by new management, as they were still friendly at the time of her passing. The resolution of Monarch, Legacy of Monsters Love Triangle is obvious, but the build-up will probably make a second viewing of the events look different. It's also possible that after Lee and Keiko's backgrounds are fully disclosed, rewatching the series will give you a different viewpoint. It appears that the MonsterVerse series still has a lot to cover before going back to its episode 1 finale with 4 episodes remaining. Thank you for watching.